I stopped by the thrift shop. Of course, my wife Kim called me and she said, what are you doing? Are you done with the oil change? I said, yeah, I'm at the thrift shop. And she said, well, don't you have enough stuff that you can already post and list? And to her, I say, yeah, baby, I do. The reason I make these videos is to show you the kinds of items that you can find and source for at thrift shops that are inexpensive and you can turn around and make some money. Hey YouTube friends, well we are back. Have you missed us? Did you even know we were gone? We were gone for how long? Almost a month. Almost a month and how many miles did we go? 8,000. 8,000 miles, yeah. actually 7,930 miles to be exact. And we made a trip around the United States. We went... Uh, not around. Not completely across. around. <laughs> we went over through Arizona to California from Texas. We went Arizona, California, across the Midwest, over to Kentucky and Ohio to the Cincinnati Reseller Rally of 2021. And if you haven't... Yeah, it was a great, great trip. Great time. We met a lot of nice people. In fact, in this video, I'll show you some of the pictures. We met a whole bunch of people. Some people some that great people. I admire and some other ones that I never knew. And it was such a connection of people. We are really, really, really glad to have been involved and gone to that. And hopefully in the future, they have another reseller rally. And if they do and it comes out and you are a reseller and you'd like to go to it, I hope you can go and maybe we can meet. Yeah. And you, it's like I said, it's a networking of connection of meeting people like a big giant family. It was so, yeah, it much, was so fun. much fun. Yeah. After that, we went to Michigan and came back down. Now we did cover and I didn't count, but I think it's something like 13 states. Yeah. Might've been even more, but I don't know, but we went about 13 different states. A couple of them, two or three times, but <laughs> just kind of making the loops. Yeah. But we had a great time. To and uh, so also while we were on our last stop, we came back because I did tell you in my last video, and if you didn't see it, we started a second channel called Nomadic Pickers. And Nomadic Pickers is we're taking this van, which is named Rocky, and we're traveling the country. That's what we did. And we saw so much stuff, but that's what we're going to do is go around and travel from state to state, picking and sourcing. And we did do a little bit, so you'll see that throughout the time. Over the next couple of weeks, we're going to put out several videos, a lot of videos, a ton of videos mm -hmm. of our trip on nomadic pickers because that's the channel that we show a lot of our traveling adventures and like i said we just started it but it's already going growing good we've got how many about 200 subscribers already on that yeah, channel almost, yeah so that's great yeah and we're gonna hit ebay hard and we're gonna put out some videos for ebay and our faithful subscribers and start back picking and showing what we sold and absolutely yeah we got to we jump haven't back forgot on. about you no we haven't sure. forgot about you and i got a ton <laughs> of knowledge and information to share but i wanted to show this off because it's in my mind i want to show this our daughter who lives in el paso made this for us she's the one that makes our logos so we got nomadic pickers and this is the logo she made for it and then we have rk treasure center we don't have the logo up there yet it's going to go there in fact kim's wearing a shirt with our logo on it rk treasure center so that's it, which of course many of you already know what the logo looks like, but that logo is gonna sit right here. And it was so much fun because on our journey on the way back, we, it was so funny, we stopped at oh, a rest area. Yeah. And at the rest area, I got out of the van, started to head to the restroom, and all of a sudden I heard a guy behind me go, hey Roy, <laughs> and I look and I turn around, I'm like, hi. Of course I'm like, I don't recognize you, but my mind instantly went to, is this a viewer of a channel? And no, what he said is he's like, no, we, I don't know you. My wife, when I, we were following you and pulled up and we saw that your channel, no matter figure, we looked at it and they go, or looked us up on yeah. YouTube real quick. And so he was just saying hi and that was pretty nice. Yeah. But uh, so that was kind of nice, a little advertisement thing for us. <laughs> but that's because we're gonna travel around in our van and see the sites. Yeah. Like I said, we've got one month's worth of videos of all the places we went to and different stuff so if you want to see a lot of that if you're into seeing some travel you're into seeing uh, a little bit of camping a little bit of sourcing a little bit of other stuff go over and check out our other channel nomadic pickers uh, the spelling of it is right there and you get to see rocky van in a lot of those pictures but sit back relax and check out today's video and like i said make sure you subscribe hit that button it's over there so that, that way you can catch all of our videos that we're going to be putting out probably over the next month 
Well, good morning. And when I say good morning, I mean good morning because the sun just came up just a little bit. It is really about 7 o'clock. I've been up since 6 o'clock this morning. And it's not because I'm going to go to a garage sale or take off first thing in the morning for that. This is actually a weekday. And I'm going to go give our Rocky van a oil change. But after I'm done getting the oil change this morning, it's off to a thrift shop. All right, so I'm done with the oil change and it is now nine o'clock. I actually had to wait for the thrift shop to open. And if you watch my channel, many of you have seen me at this thrift shop. It's called Thrift City here in South Texas. And I'm gonna tell you, this has been a really good place for me. I pick up a lot of little stuff, but I've hit several home runs here. So I'm gonna go in there, see what else I can find. It looks like they're pulling stuff out. They might be getting ready to have a sidewalk sale of some sort. So let's go check it out. picked up this Corningware 4.5 liter lasagna bowl. This will sell for about $40 and it's got a really nice design on it. Some Nike golf cleats. Pretty good condition. $14.99 blue tag half off. I think I'm gonna get those. A little bit of dry, a little dirt. No, it's just dirt. Okay. We'll get those cleaned up. They'll sell good. All right, so I did pick up a cart full of stuff and it's really kind of like low priced items. No home runs, I don't believe. Everything's in these bags right there. I did pick up this Adidas Barricade golf bag or tennis racket bag. And that was pretty neat. But again, no home runs. Definitely things that are gonna make me money, but nothing that no $100, $200, $300 items that I can see. I'll have to go through it again later. But I think everything that I picked up is just going to be uh, things that are going to, you know, something you buy for $3.99 and it's going to sell for $20, $25. So, I mean, good items, but no, like I said, no item I picked up before for like $3.99 is going to sell for $200. Anyway, let me get all this stuff in the van. Speaking of vans, I did pick up some van shoes. Those are pretty cool. Again, nothing spectacular. $30 shoes. So, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to put all this stuff in here. Oh, that's way. We might go to another thrift shop, and if not, we'll just go home and I'll show you all the things that I picked up. Well, YouTube friends, as you can see, I'm back from the thrift shop, and everything I got, I put right here. Now, it looks like a really big haul. And it is, but this bag has a lot of plush animals in. And I'll show you everything we got. When uh, I went to get the oil change this morning, I stopped by the thrift shop. Of course, my wife Kim called me and she said, what are you doing? Are you done with the oil change? I said, yeah, I'm at the thrift shop. And she said, well, don't you have enough stuff that you can already post and list? And to her, I say, yeah, baby, I do. But... The reason I make these videos is to show you the kinds of items that you can find and source for at thrift shops that are inexpensive and you can turn around and make some money. Now, there's many times where I have talked to people or sometimes people will leave comments and say, you pick low items that only make a few dollars and is that worth your time? 
And to them, I say, yes, it is worth my time. The reason being is I would much rather go find, say, like retail arbitrage at Walmart and find 100 items marked down for a dollar that I can sell for $10 and make $1,000 versus those people that only look for items that they can sell for $50, $25, or $100. And they only sell a couple a month or a little bit, maybe a week. But yeah, I'm working a little bit harder, but I'm retired. I don't have anything to do. I don't have another job. This is my job. I have to sell on eBay to make money to provide for my family, for me and my wife. Kids are growing up. I don't have to provide for them anymore. They got to do that on their own. But as for me and my wife and taking care of the household and all that, paying our bills, paying everything, I've got to do that. So that's why I go sourcing for stuff like this, which I'm going to show you. And it gives you ideas of what you can look for when you're out sourcing. Because many of you are new to eBay. You started eBay. Maybe you just dabble in it a little bit. And you need to know the kinds of items that are going to make a little profit. So that's what I got over here. So let's kind of run through this stuff real quick. First of all, you can see right here, I got an Adidas Barricade tennis bag now the thrift shop uh was putting stuff in bags i said to go ahead and throw stuff in here so i got to figure out how oh there it is how to open this up so that that way i can get some of the stuff out of here so i can show you the bag there we go obviously i don't play tennis okay so let's start here boston red sox clubhouse sign this is really neat it says pass required some Boston Red Sox fan is going to love this sign. And this was inexpensive. I paid 99 cents for it. But this right here, I'll probably be able to sell for 15, 14, I'll probably say 14.99 plus shipping. And all I got to do is put a couple pieces of cardboard over it, make it good and thick, slide it into a big poly envelope and mail it out. It'll go out really cheap. So there's profit. The next thing. Okay, now this is something that I picked up. And let me explain really quick. I did have the camera on when I walked through the thrift store. I wasn't finding it very much. I was kind of disappointed thinking this wasn't going to be a good video day. So I'd turn off the camera. And every time I turned the camera off, I would find something. So I'd turn the camera back on, look around some more, not find anything. So some of the items that you will see, a lot of the items you'll see are stuff that I didn't show you on camera, but you will recognize and see a couple things as we're going through. And I don't know if you saw these on a shelf, but these are snow, snow, uh, snowshoes. Couldn't think of the word snowshoes. Um, I looked them up. These are Atlas snowshoes and it says REI. I'm not sure what REI is. Maybe it's a uh, rented. Maybe they were somebody's initials. I don't know. I really don't know. These were $5.99 and these snowshoes and even though the condition they are, and I probably can get this off. I got some little goo gone or something to be able to wipe that off, clean them up a little bit. They still got all their class. Everything's good looking. Everything's perfect about them. And I should get about $40 for these plus shipping. So that was a really good find. I should have brought a bucket over here so I can put my stuff in a bucket. Hold on a minute. Don't worry, just me making noise, getting a bucket. Well, actually I got a box. So I'll put the stuff in the box. All right, the next thing I picked up. Now, honestly, I picked this up here. I didn't even comp this. Um, my guess is the box has been opened. I doubt it's new. The thrift shop runs tape around stuff because they don't want people digging into it. Generally, if all the pieces are complete and it's new, or if they know it's complete, they'll run tape all the way around so people can't open it up and lose pieces. But what this is, as you've probably seen, it's an SC on TV. It's Deluxe Spice Rack. You can see the little picture right there. This was $3.99, and I thought maybe I would pick this up for the van or in the house because we do have a lot of spices, and they're kind of sitting around. I'm always fumbling trying to find the right spices, so this is kind of for us. However, if Kim says she doesn't want it, I'll turn around and sell it. I know I'll make more than three dollars and ninety nine cents that I paid for it, but uh, yeah. And you see this little piece of tape right here. Yeah, that's so that it didn't get lost. That's why it's taped up. So, all right. So back to this bag real quick. Now this bag should have had a price in there. 
I may have to, oh, there it is. $5.99. And I should be able to sell this for about, say, $29.99 plus shipping, $25 plus shipping. So I should get my money quick for that. Now we're gonna dive into this bag, which is some plushed animals. I don't go sourcing for plush animals all the time, but when I've sold some down or my little stockpile, I've got like two bins of plushes. When they go down, then I go looking for more. All right, most of these, if they got a tag on or $1.99, or yeah, $1.99, 99 cents or 69 cents if they had no tag. So if you watch Family Guy cartoon, this is Stewie. Stewie right here is a popular little character and he will sell for about $14. And I picked up, if I can move the tag, I picked up this Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse is wearing her little uniform because she's from the Disney Cruise Lines. It's got the Disney Cruise Line tag on there. She right here was 99 cents and she should sell for 11 to 14 dollars and yes i did look up comps on all the plushes so i didn't just pick up a plush and say yeah i'll get that price for it i actually comped every single one of these plushes so i would know what they were selling for sea turtle isn't that a cute looking sea turtle i didn't even pick that up to sell this is for kim and if she doesn't want it i'll sell it but she, Kim really loves sea turtles. She's got sea turtle decor. She likes that ocean theme, kind of like the beach theme, the pretty sunsets, things like that. And we have a beach about an hour away, so we could do go to the beach. But Kim picked this, or Kim, Roy picked this up for Kim because she likes sea turtles. And I don't know if you can hear it, but I think it's starting to rain outside. So if you do hear the rain, I apologize. It's pretty quiet, so you may not right now. All right, here's a Toys R Us polar bear. This is an older polar bear. Toys R Us went out of, out of business. And this polar bear right here should sell for about $15 to $18. Cute little guy. Just because he's got the Toys R Us tag, that's why he's priced up a little bit, I'm sure. Here is a little tiger, and this is the Disney Animal Kingdom Tiger. Whenever I see printed or embroidered stuff, I try to look at it on plush and try to look them up because a lot of times they are worth some money. And this one, this little guy right here sells for about $25. So cute little tiger, worth the sale. Yeah, good find. See where I'm going with this stuff? What I'm doing, I'm showing you the stuff that I paid like 69 cents. Some of these plushes, like I said, are 69 cents, 99 cents, or... $1.99 in some cases. And there's another polar bear. And these are the kinds of items that you can pick up. Some of these plushes won't sell very fast. Some of them will sell very fast. And But they're items you can be making. So far, what have I done? I've shown you everything I've shown you is probably almost, I don't know, $200 worth of sales. Just about already. $150 at least. But here's another polar bear plush. This one is by Bear Factory. Bear factory I never really heard of, never paid attention to, but I looked it up. This one polar bear right here sold for $14, and there were three comps of them that sold within the last 60 days. So, not a fast seller, obviously, unless there's not that many listed, but he does sell. I guess somebody who had liked polar bears because they were, maybe they got rid of polar bears, because I did see some other ones, but they were off brands. I didn't pick them up. Okay, this is. Let me get this bag out of the way. This right here is a big item, and you won't see the whole thing on camera, but I'll do my best. And this is company is made is Grundens, G-R-U-N-D-E-N-S, and this is called the Harvester. And what this big monster is, because it's a 3X, I believe, or 4X, it's huge. But these are professional fishermen's waders like people that work on shrimp, shrimp boats lobster boats crab boats fishing boats these are professional fishing waders these were marked at nine dollars and 99 cents and i paid the nine dollars and 99 cents why 
because these will sell in this largest size and they were comped out will sell for $69.99 to $89.99 they're monsters they're big but they're worth it so sometimes you do have to pay up a little bit to make the profit oh and just to give you an idea of what I spent today I spent one hundred and four dollars sorry hundred and four dollars is what I spent today as soon as I get this bag open I'll show you what's in here found this cute little Pac-Man toy and it works oh did work hello anybody home oh it's on I'm just not paying attention And it works. Oh, I died. Anyway, this Pac-Man toy. All right, that's enough. <laughs> this little Pac-Man arcade miniature game is by is made by Namco, and I paid ninety nine cents for it. I should get about fifteen, eighteen dollars for it. So good little toy. And I didn't have to change the battery, so I know it works. All right, let's get into some glassware, breakables, that kind of stuff. Now, you probably saw me on camera. I think I talked about it or I showed it or picked it up. I don't remember. I have to look back. But I saw this little Florida Lee ornament. Uh, 99 cents. And it's just a little ceramic Florida Lee tile ornament. I saw it, picked it up, looked at it, laid it back down, and I walked away. Well, you know you get that thinking about stuff the little hair on your necks whatever something's just telling you hey you might need to look at that again so i picked it up looked at it doesn't have a maker's name or anything like that it's in very good condition there's no chips so i went ahead and pulled up and looked up florida lee tile ornaments and bam this little guy right here sells for about twenty dollars and up so these there's more ornate ones that was selling for higher but this glazed one like this, $20. Good thing I turned around and listened to myself. All right, so I did pick up a couple of coffee mugs. Um, I had people ask me in the past, is, is it worth picking up coffee mugs? Because some of them are really heavy. And do you make your money out of them? Yeah, I do. I mean, I do. I wouldn't pick it up if I didn't make my money. This one here is called Gator Tail Ale from Florida. It's a souvenir cup. And I'm not sure what Gator Tail Ale is, if anybody knows, because I'm not from Florida. If you know what that is, or the company, or the logo, or the drink, put it in the comments down below. I'd be curious. But it's got a nice marbling to it, $1.99. And uh, I looked up stuff that had Gator Tail Ale and found some, like, souvenir shirts and different stuff. So I'm assuming it's kind of a restaurant or brand or something in Florida. Anyway, they were selling really good, so I went ahead and picked up the mug. Figured I'd probably get about $10 to $12 for it, plus the shipping. All right, so I picked up this coffee mug. Now, at first, I thought this was a Starbucks coffee mug because I saw the 3D design. It says Boston on it, and it's got Boston scenery in the background, and you'll find a lot of Starbucks coffee mugs that are by places. And if you find those, they're worth money. I mean, you can sell them for $20, $40, and higher. I've seen ones go as far as like $79. But I looked at it, and this is just America Wear 2007. But because of the 3D design, 3D design sells on coffee mugs, that raised pattern. So it's specific. It's Boston. Someone's going to like it. Someone's going to want it. I'm going to sell it for probably about $14 plus shipping. So, so far, everything I've shown you, if we were to total it up, and I don't know because I'd have to sit there and look at it. But I know I'm over the $200 mark, probably close to the $250 mark in sales if everything was to sell. So you think it's worth a day's worth of a thrift trip for an hour to the thrift store? Because, yeah, I was in there for a while. But you think it's worth an hour's worth of time for $250 so far? I think so. So I picked this up, $3.99. And I didn't even see the maker on it but i know what it is this is 
milk glass and that design is a crazy daisy and this is a pyrex butter dish so three dollars and 99 cents is high i would rather go to a garage sale and find it for 25 cents but i paid three dollars and 99 cents four dollars for this thing but i'm going to turn around and sell this for close to twenty dollars plus shipping so a little bit high on the price but still worth the profit so this was one of those items where i walked by it picked it up looked at it sat it back down picked it right back up again looked at it flipped it over set it back down picked it up a third time went ahead and decided to do the comp on it because again my brain's telling me roy look it up look it up and this is what it was this is a decorative plate you can see it's got the string the string is broken so i'm gonna have to fix the string on it but this is a handmade hand painted in greece uh fight scene on a plate so a grecian flat fight scene 3.99 3.99 dollar plate but it's that bluish green tag which means it was half off today because that blue tags were half off and their gray tags and blue tags look the same pretty much same color they call them blue or maybe it is blue looks great to me anyway this plate right here i looked up and saw all these kinds of decorative plates prices were all over the place but similar ones with this kind of coloring and looks and designs were selling for about 20 25 dollars again profit and i was willing to play pay half price of that 4.99 so two dollars and fifty cents and this bag is my last piece of glassware i believe that i found i saw this one from a distance and the lady was walking it and you never know some people look at stuff pick it up don't even touch it walk past it you know how it is you've been to garage sales thrift shops you know what i'm talking about but i saw this from a distance saw that painting on there saw this big old it's a lasagna casserole dish it's heavy because and it is made by corning this is the french white and it's a 4.5 liter and this will sell for about 45 dollars and paid this will sell for about 45 dollars wow i didn't even look at the price i didn't even look at the price holy crap i didn't even look at the price $12.99. I wouldn't have picked this up for $12.99. But I know it's going to sell. $45. That's Reseller 101. Look at the price. I just knew what it was. I knew what it was going to sell for. I'm just going to set this down over there. I got the... Uh, anyway. Alright. I picked up some shoes picked up some shoes and i picked up these vans these are small these are size six and you can see they're a little on the tiny side um shoes at this thrift store are marked high i paid six dollars and fifty cents for them and i don't know i guess that's about average for most thrift shops but i don't know the design on this i have to look it up and you can look up designs for your van shoes to see what they are looks kind of like a satellite and at first i thought it was ocean because it kind of looks ocean and you probably looking at it, you're probably like like ocean but when i look more at it it looks like clouds over land mass so maybe it's like a satellite view or something i have to look more into it it might be an ocean <laughs> oh and vans off the walls and it'll say off the wall on the back side it's a little bit worn right here these have pretty good tread as you can see there's no he much uh, heel wear so they will sell for depending on design not knowing the design common kind uh, probably the big designs help this will probably sell for 20 25 dollars but i have had some vans off the walls before that were off the wall for real when i looked up the price i have come across some that i picked them up just because I knew that I was going to sell the vans, they were in good condition, and they have sold for like 75 to 100. I think I sold a long pair with a while back. If you watch my videos, if you're a subscriber, I sold a big pair of of vans for like 125 dollars. But most of these I sell for about 20 dollars to 25 dollars plus shipping. And 
And the other pair of van shoes. And these van shoes here are size sevens. They're a little bit bigger. And again, now these say $9.99 on them, which is probably about right. But again, there's hardly any wear. Um, still looks good. The off the walls on the uh, vans off the walls a little bit worn, but not bad. And these are a nice pattern. These are like a Hawaiian floral print. I probably look them up and they're probably going to be under the Hawaiian category, but they have different kinds of Hawaiian styles. They have the Hawaiian orchards. They have the Hawaiian palms. They have the Hawaiian this and that. And I don't know which style this is, but I'll look it up and see. And again, because they're really pretty clean and in good condition, these will probably sell for more of more of the $25 to $30 plus range. So again, paid a little high on them. Not a lot of profit once you, but I will get the shipping also. So if I sold these for $30, that's $20 plus shipping. Take that any day. And the last item I picked up were these Nike shoes, but they are golf cleats. See the little golf cleats on the bottom of them. Uh, need a little bit of cleaning. They're a little bit dirty still. Uh, looks at first I thought they were cracked, but it's actually dust in the toe band marks. So they're pretty, pretty white. I bet they were only worn or cleaned up and weren't worn, but I bet these are have only were probably only worn like once or twice. Um, these were another one. Say it was marked half off. The, they try to price shoes that look brand new. They try to price them up a little bit. These say $14.99, but it does have the blue tag. So these were $7.50. And yeah, these are going to sell comped out. These are selling for close to $49.99. So, and that's used prices. So if I can get $39.99 and higher, I'm happy. Well, like I said earlier, and as I was saying, all these items that I've shown you are items that you can go find at a thrift shop. Um, you go to a garage sale, generally your prices are cheaper. Thrift shop prices are starting to get a lot higher. In fact, I can tell you the thrift shop I go to, whenever they have an item that they are unsure about or they scan, they have a group of people back there and I've seen them. They're on computers and they're scanning the eBay comps. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Trying to get eBay prices at a thrift shop. But you can see the prices on some of these were pretty high. And that's thrift shop prices, the old five and dime type stores, thrift shops and stuff. Those are long gone out the window. I'm still thinking about my corning lasagna casserole dish. $12.99? I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I read it wrong. Maybe I thought I said $2.99. I did have my glasses on too. Anyway, like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll make... $30 off that plus shipping and wrap it real carefully. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you saw a bunch of items that you go out and you could source for and look for to give you kind of ideas, things that you can pick up, turn around, make some money. If I took everything that I showed you today and sold it, I would do the math, but quickly in my head, I can tell you it's well over $300. That's great. You know, who doesn't want to make money like that? If you're not selling on eBay, consider selling on eBay. There's other platforms out there. There's Posh Park, Macari, Amazon FBA. But I'm going to tell you, I've been selling on, on eBay for over 10 years. It eBay doesn't fail me. Uh, eBay, I don't know. I love eBay. I'm going to love eBay. I'm going to sell for as long as I can until Kim says I got to retire from eBay. But I'm going to do it for as long as I can. Thank you, everybody. If you like this video and you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. Make sure you click that thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. It helps us out. Plus, it helps you find videos and content like this. So, take care. Be safe. Be kind to one another. And have a great day. Bye-bye.